So China is expecting to launch its first space station by the year 2020. Now this is a very interesting development. The United States has steadily been kind of phasing back the amount of money that we're spending on our NASA programs, but China is going full speed ahead. They expect to establish their first space station by around the year 2022, which is building upon the experience of an experimental module which is already in orbit. Now it's important to note that while China is well ahead of most developing nations, the United States and Russia are light years ahead of China still. But they have set a high priority, the leadership in China, on advancing its space program. So this is a pretty, pretty important news story. China is really trying to establish itself as a space power, and this is one of the best ways that they can do it. They had a manned space mission last year where three astronauts spent 15 days in orbit, and it docked with an experimental space laboratory, which was called the Heavenly Palace One, which is an awesome name. And the deputy head of their manned space agency said that the first man in space, which is also him, he said that the follow-up is going to be launched in around 2016. So they're making incredibly, incredibly fast progress. This is a big story. Around 2018, they're planning on launching the core of the space station with the completion set to finish out the project and slowly you know, man it with people around the clock like we have in our International Space Station. That's gonna happen around the year 2020. So China's insisting that they are doing this for peaceful purposes, but as we are in the United States, we tend to take a more pessimistic view to these things. So the US Defense Department is very concerned about this, saying that China is pursuing these activities so that they can prevent their adversaries from using space-based assets during a crisis. So I think more is gonna be revealed on this one, but definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, folks.